Hello everyone, welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I am your host along with Mr. Chick, the mic holder and support puppet. Yeah. Today we are going to talk about the internal daily struggle of your disordered person. Now, I had um, somebody ask me like, oh, what does it feel like if uh, when you discard someone and they uh, try to get you back and then they ghost you, you know, and this triggered, um, you know, me wanting to make this video because you always want to know what your person is thinking being removed from you out of their life. And you always forget that there is, you know, shit constantly going on up here that we're not just magically happy with someone new. Everything is great. Everything is perfect. You know, even when we were um, starting out a new relationship and we're hyper focused on our new person and we're excited and everything like that, we're still wondering Am I going to fuck it up? Am I going to fuck it up? I'm going to fuck it up. You know, um, we're like, Okay, well, we got to mask up um, to be um, this perfect person for them now also in our head we're like okay well they got to be perfect for us too okay so then we gotta you know we gotta test them on this that and the other thing they have to follow the script if they don't follow the script then everything's gonna go to shit um i have to be perfect i have to make sure that they're gonna, not gonna fucking run away and fucking you know figure out um all my shame shit on the inside i have to look like the perfect fucking partner this is not a, um, oh, we got to target you and we, we got to um, vomit all of our inner hate all over you. And like, you know, we do not know that we project all over the fucking place. We do not know that, okay? But we are struggling on the inside, um, wondering what everybody's fucking thinking about us 24 7 all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. We will, um, this is like a lot of people will just be cold and dismissive or pff, I'm dead on the inside. So I'm not even going to fucking nothing. I'm not going to show you nothing. I'm not showing you that I'm freaking out. I'm struck. I have anxiety. No, nothing, nothing. You know, I'm going to show you the ha ah, ah, ha, just hands, just hands. Everything is great and happy. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, now, a lot of um, other people who are, you know, the vulnerable narcissist, the I'm a victim of everything, and burp, 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 you know, um, so you know that uh, they are, you know, they're trying to basically let you have a little look inside at their fucking um, struggle that's going on, you know, and when you're like the mass slips, the mass slips, um, eh, we um, are fucking tired. And if we fucking let that slip, we're letting that slip. We are taking that shit off because we're exhausted, okay? We're exhausted of putting on the fucking show. It's not your fault. This is what happened to us, you know, very young. So we have this mask on all the fucking time. And um, when we do take it off, it's because it's everything just became too fucking much too much you know put on our fucking plate it's too much i have to throw it up now i ate too much you know so and you're you end up being the barf bag okay so there is always something going on up here there is no constant stream of everything is great. I'm tap dancing. I am fucking living in Mary Poppins land. You know, no, no, that's not happening. That's not happening. And when everything is like a flat line of emotion and everything is just calm or whatever, you know, I'm still fucking bored bored you know and then I'm like well fuck I'm gonna have a couple drinks and everything's gonna be great and then I start getting fucking fat and now I'm fucking worried about my weight um you know little things are showing up on my 
fucking aging skin. I'm freaking out about that. Oh God, now I have to, you know, Google all the different kinds of things to help me look better and shit, you know. Oh, my fucking jeans are getting too tight. Now I have to fucking starve myself or something. And then it's just like, all the fucking time. Then when you do have a partner that you really, you know, enjoy being with and everything, you're still, you know, wondering, are they going to fucking abandon me? Or uh, am I going to do something wrong? Am I, uh, I'm a hundred percent honest, but am I being fake? What, <laughs> you know? Okay. Okay. It's, um, carnival up here. It's carnival up here. I tell you that being in a relationship with us is, you know, a carnival on fire with killer clowns chasing you all the time and shit. But that is just us projecting what is already inside of us. Okay. All right. So um, I hope that was helpful. I did make a um, video on the darkness inside. So if you want to look up that to see the darker, you know, bullshit that's going on. Um, please go take a looky at that. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Namaste or namaste, right? I know how to fucking say it.